Hello, welcome to Let's Play Delver. Delver, as the name might suggest, is a dungeon crawl. Well, I suppose the other thing the name might suggest is some kind of mining sim, but no, it's a dungeon crawl, and it's a procedurally generated one, but a little different from some of the stuff I've played before. It's a fairly new game to me. I've had a short fiddle with it, about, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe, off camera, to sort of familiarise myself with the controls and that sort of thing. And I've watched a little bit of a Let's Play of this by a guy calling himself Game Hunter. Um, his YouTube channel actually is called The Uber Hunter. And he Let's Plays a lot of roguelikes. And that was actually how I discovered this game. For that's basically what this is. It does um, remove some of the features of a traditional roguelike. The complexity of interface that's mind-boggling in more traditional roguelikes is gone. Um, the visual style is completely different. And uh, it's real-time rather than turn-based. But you will see that most of the core things are still here. As in a game like, um, say, Cursed Loot, maybe. Something like that. So anyway, this title screen isn't hugely engaging, so let's just press on. Um, incidentally, I think this is still a work in progress. The screen that popped up before this one said mostly playable, so this could be um, a beta or even an alpha, possibly. But it is on sale, nonetheless. Um, I'll put a link below to the developer's website where you can buy it, as I did, for five US dollars, which works out at about three pounds in UK currency. So let's just play. All right, here we are, entrance to a dungeon. And the way you control this is WASD to move around. And I'm using the mouse to look and left mouse button to swing my little blade. Okay, immediately I'm going to have to deal with this enemy. Piss off, I'm trying to explain things. Urgh, urgh, urgh. Okay. Um, I do want to mention though that if you're not fond of using the mouse to look around, you can, it seems, control this almost entirely, if not entirely entirely, through use of the keyboard. Already got a level, but I'll deal with that in a second. Um, there aren't any points to assign or anything. Basically, your health goes up. Um, yes, you can control this entirely using the keyboard. You can use the spacebar to attack, like this. And you can look around using the arrow keys. So if you don't fancy the mouse, you can use a two-handed keyboard setup. But mouse is fine for me. Um, e picks stuff up. I am going to take a couple of skulls, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to have a look around at some items. Scroll of Blizzard. As in uh, many roguelike type of games, scrolls are important. I'll pop my inventory open with I, so you can have a look. What we've got at the top here on the hotkeys is my weapon. I like to keep that hotkeyed. And you always start off, as far as they can tell, with your basic dagger, a mystery potion, some form of wand. I've seen different ones in this slot. And some form of food. And of course you can hotkey them there, you can change your armour and whatnot here, and you can change the hotkeys. So I'm going to hotkey the scroll of blizzard instead of a skull. And in fact I'm going to put that skull away as well. Now, the reason I've picked up the skulls is because there are floor traps in this, and they often take up the whole width of the corridor, so it's useful to have an item you don't want that you can drop on it to trigger it. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, there are ranged enemies. If I had a bow, I could take shots at it from here, but since I haven't even managed to leave the room yet, that might be asking a bit much. Come on. Can you come? Come on. Don't be a wuss. Here we go. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see if any of these are better than my current weapon. Um, so I'll have to pop open the inventory to examine the stats. Iron dagger, one to two damage. So we've got. Okay, that's a wand. I'll take that. Hit E. Um, fine iron dagger, three to four. Excellent iron short sword, six to eight. Wow. So actually, the excellent iron short sword is. Um, quite an improvement, so I'll take that. I will 
hotkey to one to replace that weapon. And I'll hang on to the iron dagger for trap triggering purposes. Might as well. I haven't seen a shop in this to offload unwanted items. But again, I have only played for a few minutes, so I can't guarantee that there's no shop. Um, but at the moment I'm working on the principle that maybe there isn't. Okay, so we have a map with M. Yeah, four directions to go in from here. Um, the objective of the game seems to be to get to the bottom. Don't know how far that is, and I don't know what I'll do when I get there. Uh, ooh. Oh, enemy got killed on a trap. So if I want to go down that way, I'm going to have to trigger this trap with an item. Oh, same here. Alright, so let's use a skull here, and I'll show you what I mean. Drop that by dragging it out. There we go. Easy as pie. Um, can't really pick it up again. It's too far away. So we'd be standing on the trap there. But never mind. Oh, okay, we've actually taken poison from this zombie thing. Got a level up. Still poisoned. You can tell by the green number on our health bar. Um, what I'm going to do is try swigging our potion with hotkey 2, see if that cures me. You feel arcane. I assume that means it maybe gave me some kind of magic resistance or something. I'll whack my ale in there for healing purposes. In fact, might as well use that. You feel warm. And food, I think, yeah, you can see on my health bar, gives us some form of regen effect, rather than an instant heal, which is what health potions do, as far as I observed. Alright. Slightly confusingly, I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you hit an enemy, your screen flashes, which in most games means you're taking damage, so it's a little alarming. You're pounding away at this ferocious beastie and you feel like you're being repeatedly kicked in the face. It's, it's an odd sensation for sure. Alright, let's just trudge back over here because we still have the other cardinal directions to explore in that room. Um, yeah, head back to that room. Oh, there's actually another corridor branching off to the east side, down here. Might as well go and have a look at that. Oh! That stays triggered for as long as the skull's on it, presumably. Okay, I'm going to have to drop the other one. Well, I suppose I could take this one back, and then just keep reusing it. Because I'm going to have to come back this way anyway, to get to the uh, exit. So that might work. Okay... I mean, I'm not expecting any enormous treasures or anything, but there might be, like this, handy wand, some sort of useful item, a much better sword, a piece of armour, something like that, so it's worth having a look around. Food is health. As far as I'm aware, there's no hunger meter or anything, so I believe food is purely health in this. Okay. This does seem to be, at least to the point I've played, easier, more forgiving than an actual roguelike roguelike. Oh, accidentally hit a hotkey, but that's alright. Um, yeah, more forgiving than a roguelike roguelike, but still. Um, a little tricky. Ugh, walked on the poison trap. Poison traps, from what I've observed, don't actually kill you. They can whittle you down to one health, and then um, other things, of course, will find it easier to kill you. Okay. So, we've got straight on and we've got left out of this room. Uh, I suppose I'll eat some food. I'll eat my meat. That sounds horrible. Someone's shooting at me. Or is that the food? The food went... <laughs> when I ate it. Trousers! Well, broken leather pants. Which just sounds unsavoury. Um... Yeah, and particularly unsavoury to me. For anyone who's not a regular viewer, or not familiar with um, UK lingo, pants over here are not trousers, they are underpants. So broken leather pants sounds all the more disturbing. Alright, is that better than our current armour? Slightly. So swap that, put that one there, I'll put food up in the hotkeys. Yeah, and again, hold on to that old armour just for throwing on traps if necessary. Or for selling if we do actually come across a shop. Again, I don't know if there is such a thing in this game. Okay, there's an arrow there. Don't have a bow, but we might find one, so I will take the arrow just in case. Can I hit you from up here? Yes, is the answer. Right in the head, causing you to explode. 
Okay. Still on the first floor, I draw to your attention. It seems like the floors are pretty expansive in this game. Ooh, he set the trap off. Run! I don't know if they only trigger once or if they keep re-triggering. But either way, it's fine. We got past that, thanks to the self-sacrifice of that altruistic bat. Don't want to take poison, but it's okay. We just ripped the hell out of that zombie. I think it's a zombie. Okay, take out this guy. Ugh. Okay, so we just have some booze in the middle of this island. That's alright. It'll heal us at some point. That's not as good as our current armor, so we can ignore it. Almost walked on the trap because I'm a complete dumbass. Uh, more trousers. Is this. Did we circle round there? Yes, we did. That was a loop. Um, oh! It looks like north there might actually be another way to go that we didn't explore right at the end of the corridor, so. Let's do that. I'll pop the map off in a minute, just making sure I'm going the right way. Okay, so that's a dead end. You can't pick up these blue crystals, which is just a bit of a shame. They look like they'd be exciting and or valuable. Keep taking arrows. Again, we might find a bow at some point, and then uh, the arrows will pretty much pay for themselves, because we'll be able to attack the enemies that shoot green fireballs at us. When I say pay for themselves, I am, of course, being slightly facetious since we're finding them on the floor for free. Okay, which way was the exit? It was uh, down there, right? Yeah, that's the way. Okay. So we'll just trudge back to the stairs that lead down, back over here. Um, yes, it was round here, wasn't it? That's right. Okay, and then down to the next floor. I think we're done here. Floor two. Alright, so we we can actually go back up if we want to. I don't know if enemies respawn or if the layout changes. That happens in some roguelikes. But this isn't strictly a roguelike. It's um, more of a roguelike-influenced 3D-ish dungeon crawl. Doom meets Hexen meets Daggerfall meets roguelikes. Okay, so the, this is quite mazy. I mean, I know it's mostly pillars, but still. Like, they're, they're pillars rather than corridors, so it's all the same route, really, a lot of that. But even so, okay. So, back trigger the trap, that's fine, take it out. I quite like the wood aesthetic here. Don't know why, but uh, I find it more pleasant than the... Um, generic brick dungeon stuff that was knocking around before. I'm going to reference Cursed Loot again here, because um, Cursed Loot does have some sort of office-y, bookcase-y... Well, not office like um, government office or something, office like study in your home. Okay, took poison somewhere, probably fighting the zombie, so we're down to one health. I'm going to eat that apple, and then I'm going to see if I have more food. I'm also going to take a gamble on the potion. Let's try that. Four. You feel restored. Ah, so it was actually a health potion. Good, good. So, better remember that. Black potions are health. Okay, helmet. That's worth taking because we don't have a helmet at all yet. So whack that straight on our head. Steel helmet. It doesn't match the rest of my clothes. Oh. Right. Not seeing too many fireball enemies, which is nice. What's that? Chainmail trousers. Alright, is that better? Yes, a lot better than our useless pants that have zero armour. Get rid of those. Come here, you bat. Alright, get some more booze. Because as we all know, nothing makes you healthy quite like booze. Don't quote me out of context. Certainly not when speaking to your small children. Alright, um, keep picking up the booze. I, yeah, I missed that. Okay. Oh, a bow. What did I say about hanging on to arrows? I'm sure you believed me, but still, I'm going to gloat as though you didn't. Ha! I told you. Alright, so uh, now I'll keep that up here, just so that I can switch back and forth between melee and ranged as quickly as I need to. Um, Alright, 
looks like we've cleared out this wing of the dungeon. Or this floor of the dungeon. The, this wing of this floor of the dungeon. Yes, that's what I was going for. Okay, it looks like we didn't fully explore this bit. There are a couple of spaces on the map. Eh, uh, I guess we just didn't walk close enough to fill them in. What's that? Ooh, steel greaves. Fine steel greaves. I think that's better than our current trousers. Yes, quite considerably better. Love those back on the floor. I know I could be squandering a fortune in gold if this is a game that has shops in it, but what the hell. I don't feel great about cluttering up my inventory either. So, six to eight. Okay, so this is nowhere near the quality of our current weapon, so just ignore it. Uh, where next? Right, so back into here, into the room with all the pillars, which is confusing. Though it's just one room, it's still a little mind-boggling. Thought I heard a shot firing off there, but perhaps not. Green blob! Okay, and he dropped the potion. Shit! He dropped the potion. shit. Yes. Alright. Get back. Don't try hitting me with your stick. Okay, that has to be better than our current leathery armour. Yes. So I'll put chainmail on. We're, we're wearing very metallic stuff now. I feel good about that. It feels like it improves my chances. So, was that a... Yes, fireball. Alright, switch to the bow. See if we can take him out from here. Um, arrows are equipped automatically, so I'm just holding the left trigger to draw back the string there. I will go and check out where he was lurking in a moment, but I want to explore in my own rhythm, my own routine, not go where the enemies force me to go. So, I'm going to explore straight ahead down here first. Dead end. Well, you certainly showed me, game. Alright, so this was where the enemy was lurking. He probably didn't drop anything. But there's my arrow. I can recover them, so that's nice. Um, Alright. Anything? Oh! Beastie, by which I mean man with a sword. Another guy with a stick. Ugh, yeah. Ooh, that goes somewhere. I'll just have a quick glance around, make sure I haven't missed any armor or weapons or anything. Seems not. And then head down here. And that looks like the exit to the next floor. Um, and I think we have cleared out the whole of this floor. I can't see any conspicuous corridors that we haven't been down. So, let's have a quick scout around for items. Ooh, scroll of greater health. That could be very, very handy, so I'll definitely take that. Another scroll sitting in the corner. Who just threw their scrolls into the corner here? Was there some sort of sulky child being forced to read? I don't want to read the scroll of greater health! Yeah! And he lobbed it in the corner. Anyway, let's go down. Floor three, and I think we'll call it a day there. So, thanks for watching. Rejoin me the next time to see me explore some more of Delver, this first-person 3D slash 2D dungeon exploration roguelike influenced adventure type thing. Um, hopefully you're getting some enjoyment out of it, and I'm looking forward to playing some more. So uh, thanks for watching, come back the next time, and goodbye for now.